Hi, my name is Isabel and I'm a product marketing manager here at Cognex. Today, I'm going to walk through how to set up an edge learning classify application using Insight Vision Suite. Specifically, we are going to be setting up this application in the Insight spreadsheet interface. For this application, I'm going to classify the flavor of water for each of these bottles. As you can see, we have three label types, lemon, strawberry, and blueberry. We also have two failing classes, one without a label and one where the label is damaged. We are now going to use the Edge Learning Classify tool to quickly set up this job. So now I'm in Insight Vision Suite, and as you can see, I have my cameras on the left-hand side. I'm already selected to the camera I want to use, and I'm going to click uh, Spreadsheet Connect in order to start my spreadsheet job. Now that I'm in Spreadsheet, I'm going to change my view or my display by clicking Change Split in this top menu. And this will allow me to see my image on the left-hand side and the spreadsheet on the right-hand side. So the first step in order to set up my job is to set up my acquisition parameters. To do that, I'm going to go to the tab in the bottom right, Labeled Acquisition. And here I'm able to set up a few different parameters. The first thing I'm going to do is click Autofocus. And this will make sure that I'm focused on my part. In this case, my exposure is pretty good, so I'm not going to change it, but I could also change my exposure and I could change my white balance if I want. Last, I just want to make sure that my trigger type is set to self. This means that it will trigger on an interval. And then I'm going to set the interval for this job to 500. And this means when I go online, it will trigger every 500 milliseconds. Now that my acquisition parameters are set up, I'm going to go back to the functions tab and I'm going to set up my classify tool. To do this, I'm going to go into the Vidi EL menu. I'm going to go select Vidi EL classify and I'm going to drag this into my spreadsheet. This is the same Vidi EL classify tool available in EasyBuilder, just with a different interface. If you are interested in learning more about the EasyBuilder environment, we have a separate demo video on Cognex.com. In this case, when I drag my classify tool into my spreadsheet, you'll see it brings up a property sheet. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. The first thing we want to do to set up the tool is to set my region. So I'm going to double click my region. I'm going to resize it to be the size of the label, just to make sure I get all the information I'm looking for. And then I can either click enter or I can click accept up here to accept my changes. The next thing I'm going to do is set up my five classes. To do this, I'm going to go to the train tab uh, and then I'm going to click this plus button and this is going to allow me to add classes to this tool. I'm going to click add and then I'm going to add my five classes. So blueberry, strawberry, Lemon, damaged, and missing. And then I'm going to say OK. Now that I have my five classes, I'm actually going to go back to the General tab. Um, and I'm going to click this Collect Samples button. And what this is going to allow me to do is collect all the samples that I'm going to then uh, separate into my five classes. So I'm going to collect all my images. So once I've done all that, I'm going to select OK. You'll see the tools loaded up, but we have an error because we haven't labeled any of our images yet. So the first thing we need to do is to collect all of the images. So what I'm going to do is take five images of each of the different classes, and then we're going to go back and sort them. And as you can kind of see here, there's a counter that counted this first image as unlabeled. And so right now I have one strawberry image. Now I'm going to take four more strawberry images, then fast forward through capturing five images for each of the other classes. So now that I have my 25 unlabeled images, the next thing I want to do is unselect collect samples. Then I'll go back into my tool to sort them into the appropriate classes. I'm also going to click show results graphics just so I can see them. And then I'm going to go back to my train tab. Now you can see in my train tab, 
it's going to show me all of my unlabeled images and it's going to allow me to sort them into the correct class. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click the class it belongs to and then it's going to go to the next image. And I'm going to continue to do this for all 25 of my images. And as you can see, as we start putting more images in each class, it starts to guess which class the image belongs to. I'm now going to fast forward through sorting the images into their respective classes. Now that I've labeled all 25 of my images, you'll see that I have uh, five images per class shown on the right. And you'll also see that there are no more unlabeled images popping up on the left. Uh, what I can do is go into my images tab. Again, you can see that there are no more unlabeled images, but you can also just check really quickly that the images that you labeled in each class are correct. And we can also set which classes are passing and failing. So anything with a good label, I'm going to leave as passing, but I'm going to switch the damage label to failing. And I'm also going to switch the missing one to failing. And this is just going to let the uh, tool know which ones are good and which ones are bad. Now that I have everything set up, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to take a quick image. And you'll see here now that my tool is populating all of the cells in spreadsheet. So you can see that it correctly guessed that this was the strawberry class. And then if you look at the different cells, you can see here that I have my five classes labeled. It shows me the number of images I have in each class. And it also gives me a score. And this score is just how confident it is that the current image falls within that class. Now that I have all of this set up, I'm going to run the job online. So to do this, I'm going to click online up at the top left. I'm actually going to go back into the Insight Vision Suite menu, and I'm going to open the Web HMI. And then I'm going to uh, switch the parts out in real time so that you can kind of see it classifying each of the different parts. So you can see it's able to see the different classes. And this was just a quick way to set up the Vidi EL Classify tool in Spreadsheet. To recap today's tutorial, first we connected to the device in Insight Vision Suite. Then we set up our images in the Acquisition tab. Next, we set up our Vidi EL Classify tool using five classes. We captured approximately five images per part and assigned a class to each image. Finally, we ran the job in the web HMI to ensure the tool was working in real time. Thanks for watching.